Bongo, bango, bongo. It's Multiplier here with a video all about resampling in Ableton. And it's a cool little thing that's a little bit hidden away. And I certainly didn't realize you could do this until, I don't know, six months ago. I probably should have learned it before that, but hey ho, that's what just happens sometimes. Sometimes you learn stuff. We're all learning. We're learning in life and on our adventure through the universe. Anyway, right. What is resampling? Basically, it's where you take a bit of the track and write it out as a brand new audio file, and that allows you to work with it as a new bit of something. It's pretty cool. And there's a few different ways to do it, but I'm gonna show you the most versatile way of doing this resampling, and I'll show you why you can do it in a pretty cool way. Anyway, that's just words. Let me show you stuff. So it's a bit of an idea I've been working on. And wait for it. Cool little idea. I call it Super Happy Turbo Bunny right now, but um, yeah, it's probably gonna turn into a, maybe a tropical house sort of vibe. It's gonna be cool. Anyway, let me show you resampling. Let's say I want to take a, let's keep it simple first of all, just a single element of this and write it out as a brand new audio file. What you can do is create a new audio track. In fact, I have an empty one here, so let's create it from scratch again. So Command T on a Mac or Control T on Windows or do something like create insert audio track, something like that. And then make sure the input outputs button down here is open because you need to kick it into a certain mode. So input outputs button down here, bingo, bango, bongo. And then for the type of audio thing for the input for the audio track thingaling talking about this right now, um, I'll get there on the end. Right, so where it says external in, in fact, it's easier to show you in the other view. Let's hop into session view. Um, I sometimes call it mixer view. It's easier to see this. Right, so on this new audio track, I'm going to call it orange, and I'm going to call it oranges. And what, what I deleted it by accident. Don't do that. Right, oranges, sweet. So audio from, this is the important bit, change it to resampling, resampling. And then what you need to do as well is arm the channel so it can actually do its re-channel, re resampling even. So arm it so it does the resampling with this button down here, ding, it goes red. Maybe we should change the channel. Now I like it on oranges, oranges are cool. Oranges is one of the best fruit by the way, in case you haven't had any oranges before, pretty sweet. Um, right, cool, so got a new audio track. Change the audio from to resampling, armed it, all the prep work is done now. Now here is the cool bit. What you can do is either resample everything or just a bit of your project. In fact, I'm gonna show you everything first of all because that's technically a little bit simpler. If I now do this button at the top, the record button, so it looks like a circle because it's a circle, do a click and notice what happens to this channel called Oranges now. It's really, really cool, check it out. See what's happening? See, it's writing out the audio. Dope. So it's basically writing out to audio anything that you can hear. And here's where it gets really cool. So because I had the whole track playing, it's recorded the whole entire track. That's an audio file that you can chop up, you can stretch, you can reverse it, you can do whatever you wanna do, pretty cool stuff. But here is why this resampling technique is super, super dope and fly. It's because you can basically resample or record as a fresh audio clip nice and quickly, anything you like, anything that you can hear in your headphones. So let's say for the sake of argument, I just wanted to record two channels, the tiny cloud people layer from a sample pack I did, check it out, links below and ting. Um, so solo that channel. I also want to record, let's just say the, I don't know, this little screw at the sub as well, why not? Not that that makes any sense. So right now, just hear the tiny cloud people playing their little cl tiny cloud people drums. Or maybe little, I can't, I can't, I don't know what instruments the tiny cloud people are playing. Maybe it's more of a, um, I don't know. Think about it yourself. It's just noises tiny cloud people are making and the sub, but check this out. Because you've just now soloed these two channels, take a note, you can solo multiple channels by holding down Command or CTRL on a PC. Actually, I want this one. Then now when you record, um, so it's still got this channel in resampling mode, oranges, resampling, it's still armed, important steps. Then if you click the record button at the top, 
see what it records now. Check it out. It's basically just recording everything you hear, so... And let me now show you something way cool because, yeah, the thing I'm about to show you is pretty hard to do in a, another way. So this is a really cool use of resampling. Let's say I wanted to do a cool vinyl, what's it called, like a vinyl, you know when you have vinyl DJ stuff and you pull the power cable out and it goes, vinyl spin down maybe? Let's say you want to do that on the entire track. That's quite a difficult thing to program in and set up in the normal way and then record out as a separate little thing. But what I can do using resampling is pretty rad. So I'll hop to, onto the master channel, just delete that for the time being. I'll grab a, a cool little thing from Isotope called vinyl. I don't know if it's still free or not. They were doing a free, um, cause I think they're updating it or something. They gave away this version of vinyl for free. Check it out, have a Google. I think it may still be free. So what I can do is play the track through and then hit spin down whole track spins down. How cool is that? I'm gonna show you again. Oh, still spun down. Spin down. Pretty cool, right? And that'd be quite a hard thing to record and set up just normally. So what you can do with resampling is just record you doing it in live. Check this out. So the channel, again, just to remind you, because this is way important, uh, Orange's track is in resampling mode. So it's um, basically listening out for audio that's happening and it is armed, the little red button is triggered, and then what I have to do is record. In fact, what I'll do, yeah, it's fine like that. Uh, I'm going to take off the loop brace so that doesn't loop through by accident, and then record the track, and then record me just pressing down, spin down. Why am I telling you? I'm just going to show you. So click record, and this will start the uh, thing, the resampling vibe. So it's recording the whole track, and then I'll hit spin down. Sweet. And there you go. And then solo that, maybe just delete the vinyl because it's all spun down and check it out. How cool is that? And if you wanna get super fancy, here's a bonus, here's an exercise for you. I never give you exercises stuff to do. So yeah, here's an exercise for you hardcore users of Ableton, and maybe you're like, oh, I already knew this multiplier. Show me something cool. No, I'm gonna give you some inspiration to make something cool yourself using your brains. It's not that simple, but there's a way. I know how it works. You figure it out too. So what would be quite sweet is to have the opposite of a spin down. So have that same effect, but in reverse, so your track almost like comes to life. Think about how you might do it. I'm not gonna tell you. It involves some creative thinking and two stages of resampling. It's pretty cool, but give it a go. I know you can do it. I believe in you.